on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! No! Hey, I'm Alex Stone. This is Body Cam by Ride Along. Our guest today, Damian Bunting. None of these videos have been viewed ahead of time. Okay. Standing with a woman. Interview. Looks like a government building. It's like a military base, Bob. You know, something. Where's backup? Uh -oh. I was wondering if she's by herself. You see him index his hand yeah. on, his, on his left pocket? This is crazy. My, my question though, from a law enforcement standpoint, like when someone starts to become this agitated, they're reaching in their pockets, they're they're indexing their hand, yeah, yeah. should she be calling for backup right now? 100%. The guy index, you saw him index. 100%, he, yeah. So he, I think he has something in his right pocket. Now both of his hands are in his Both pocket. of his hands are in his front he's pocket. He's already shouting, he's already yeah. yelling. You know, you can tell from the, his tone, everything that he's being super aggressive. Yeah, and right. every second matters. Yeah, I would hope the backup's coming. So she called for backup. They're in route. She said, hey, run code. Step it up means run, go. Is run she code. well within her rights now to be giving him commands to take his hands out of his pockets? And we oh, just saw it. She should either take command of the situation, which I think she has the, the right to do because it's a legal stop, mm -hmm. or she should be saying, hey, this is not a big deal. Is everything okay? Either de-escalate or take yeah. control, but don't stay in this middle area. Exactly. She's in the middle. Yeah. Get on the ground! On the ground! So I'm not understanding what's, what's in the bag. Is that his hat or is that? No. On your back. No. I'm not. I'm not understanding what exactly he was reaching for when he goes after the second subject. Yeah, I don't know either. I think he was using her as a shield to get away, and I think he slipped and fell on his own. Okay. I would assume that you have some type of lower level assault or harassment, regardless of who that person is. So you're right. you're on a stop. You have two subjects. This subject is clearly becoming agitated in this yeah. situation when you're by yourself. Does she switch to, to less lethal? Does she, like, what does she do in this situation? I, I would have switched to Taser. I don't even know why this guy's not in his vehicle. I, I'm assuming this stopped occurred with him driving or in the vehicle, or she was driving and they got out of the vehicle together. At that point, that would have raised a concern for me. Yeah. It's moving towards her. Fists are balled up. So, I, I'm just gonna be straight up here. If she's gonna start getting in the I'm gonna get chased game, she should be um, strategically using her patrol vehicle or she should be using the suspect's vehicle as a way to block that distance. She's throwing a lot of restraint. Yeah. This are balled up. This guy's moving very casually. There you and go. Deploys taser. And so, great, good job on this police officer. I don't know who he is. So she had lethal out. He yep. came out immediately, completely calm. Yeah. Hey man, get on the ground. Okay, boom. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over. So they should be going hands on at this point. Yeah, at, at this point, I would have gone for a second tase. Yeah. Because um, I think they only get a five second ride, typically. Yeah. It's not a 30 second ride, right? At this point, he could have done a, a second contact on the ground, which would have forced compliance to get him over. Yeah. Right? Man. You know, I will say that watching this in real time. Okay. Good cuffing. Put your other one back oh. I don't think she had a gun away. They didn't double lock the cuffs. He's arguing with me here, trying to steal her purse. And okay. Off that way and he fell, and that's when I pulled the gun on him. So, when he hit that lady, he took her purse. So they're not. So hands. they're not together then. I, we're assuming. We don't know, but she wasn't saying, "Hey, arrest him. He stole my purse." Right. If I mean, we don't know what's going on, but. The cop is saying that it was a theft or a robbery, strong arm robbery. I came to tell Slim that I did. Get the fuck out of here. No. Get the fuck out of here. No. Blow my fucking head off there. Let me hit you again with the gun. Let me hit you again with it. Oh, shit. You want another shot? 
I don't think at this point you need to be threatening an individual yeah. who's already in handcuffs. So the cop said, do you want me to hit you again? Meaning I'm going to shoot the taser at you again. Right. You know, you have concerns about Eighth Amendment violations, cruel and unusual. This person's just detained. Now they're using speech. Speech, you know, words are not violence. They're just words. Yeah. That's why we have the First Amendment. This person can talk all they want. They're not even yelling. They're just saying, please kill me. If this person's suicidal, I don't think that they needed to escalate it further. But It's the importance of optics and making sure that you remain professional. And I understand yeah. being in those situations where your adrenaline's running, the emotions are high, but at the end of the day, you're in a position of power and you have to make sure that you're uh, observing professionalism and watching those optics. Have to every time. Yeah, exactly. Good search. You stand here as being a witness, please? Okay. Well, Can you get your purse back? Yeah. All right. So I'm assuming that's the witness to the crash. The suspect, who he probably hit, fled. Okay. Right? She stayed there. He saw the purse. She He grabbed the purse. And then he fell down. Amazing how these situations are so fluid. Very and you fluid. Know, yeah. You can, it's very easy to Monday morning quarterback this. It is, yeah. She showed, the officer showed great restraint. My question to you, maybe a little bit too much restraint in this situation, or do you feel good about that? Obviously, the officer felt threatened. That's why I'm assuming they had their gun pulled. Okay. Lethal rather, rather than less lethal. When I was in law enforcement, I went hands-on. I used my taser only a number of times. Okay. Um, I almost always went hands-on because I feel very comfortable going hands-on. And so I don't know their comfort level, you know, when it comes to reasonableness and, and the use of force, you know, you got to measure your skill level and the skill level of the threat right. or the, or the threats. And so I'm not going to question any of that. I, I will say she did show restraint in, in not shooting the suspect, but the suspect didn't attack her and had no weapon. Okay. So I don't know why she, why I don't think a firearm could have, could have solved that situation unless it was an active attack. Had it been me, I would have want, I would have hoped that in, in, in that situation, I would have used more of a de-escalatory tone. Like, hey man, everything's gonna be okay. You know, I call it going full chaplain. Yeah. But right. the dynamics of being a, a smaller officer or a female officer yeah. or a smaller female officer, that shifts the dynamics. Does that change any yeah. of that in your mind? It does. Okay. It, it, the dynamics always shift, but at the end of the day, trying de-escalation is not a bad thing. Absolutely. And I don't. I did not see that employed. Absolutely. I, that could have been, been employed, and I think a little bit better. What an amazing breakdown. Yeah. Can we assume by the interaction from the second officer that shows up with this subject that this is a community police officer? Yeah. He seems so comfortable and he seems so confident with the person that he's dealing with. Yeah. Like what I'm seeing right now is a total community police officer. Totally. Someone who's from that area, someone who's dealt maybe with this guy before. Probably 25 years. Right? I'm, I mean, he seems like he is completely comfortable yeah. in this environment. Which Other, actually works out to the benefit of the subject because 100. he doesn't come in too hot. Yeah. No, he came in, he got out of the vehicle, he didn't run up, he had his taser pulled, but it wasn't quick, like right. a real, like, it was like he kept it down to the side, normal, normal you know. It, it, he was, he was in flow state. Absolutely. The only issue I have with, with, with what he was doing was when he said a little, yeah, a little too comfortable at the end there with yeah. the extra verbiage. He, yeah. he didn't need to threaten with the taser. Legit. Veteran okay. hey. officer. That was awesome. Thanks for watching the body camera ride along. This is what we do. That was good. Man, you had seven different situations that happened in one two minute yeah. span. That's crazy. It is crazy.